Did you know that the first American spacecraft to go to the moon in 50 years is being constructed right here in Pittsburgh? We can all watch it being built now at the new Moonshot Museum. Come inside for today's Kidsburg story. It's a window to out of this world, a lunar lander that will be on the moon in just a few months. This is the star attraction at Astrobotics' new Moonshot Museum on the north side. This, Peregrine, will be the first company to land on the moon from Astrobotic, and it's powered from here in Pittsburgh. So Pittsburgh's really going to make history. The museum is located at the north side headquarters for Astrobotic, where 200 people now work. This is what's called a clean room with highly filtered air and the scientists' bodies mostly covered. So they want to make sure that hairs aren't interfering with scientific instruments, that um, bodily fluids like sweat aren't getting in places they shouldn't be. And then you'll also notice that they have wires on their wrists that they're clipping to the spacecraft when they work on it. And that's to make sure they're grounding themselves and not passing along any static charge from themselves to the spacecraft. This lunar lander they're building is actually going to be going to the moon in the beginning of 2023, heading up on a rocket much like this one from Cape Canaveral in Florida. Now we'll all be able to watch it from Mission Control right here at Astrobotic and the Moonshot Museum. This is the first museum in the world focused on career readiness for space, not just scientists, but also jobs in art, design, writing, policy, and more. I didn't even know that this industry was here in Pittsburgh, so finding out about it and the opportunity for kids to come down and learn about it too, I think is a great, great new addition to Pittsburgh. Amy Lindsay brought her son Levi, who's obsessed with space. He's already trying out the hands-on exhibits, where you can learn about what goes into building a spacecraft, what the moon's surface is like, and about actual people working in the space industry. And I think this is absolutely amazing because he gets to see science that nobody, literally nobody gets to see. So how inspiring. He'll get to see hands-on what's happening and hopefully, you know, that'll encourage what happens in the next 20 years of his own life. Levi may only be four, but the Moonshot Museum hopes to inspire little Pittsburghers to grow up to be the problem solvers of tomorrow by giving them an up-close look at history in the making. We are going back to the moon and there will be people on the moon again before the end of the decade, including the first woman and the first person of color. Oh, it's so exciting. Now, the museum's open 10 to 4, Wednesday through Sunday. Today was the first day it's opened. It's $10 for adults, 5 for kids 3 to 17. And we've got a link with more info at kdka.com slash kidsburg and a link to kidsburg.org where you'll find all kinds of ways to make a full day of events on the, nor the north side with so many great museums there. And I have to say, one of the coolest things is you can write your own letter to whatever you wanted to say, and they're going to take it to the moon on that lunar lander. Okay, so that you need a pretty big bag, a uh, mail bag to do that, right? How are they going right. to get all those letters into space? Not as much space. That's, yeah. that's what I asked them. I'm like, how's that going to happen? So they're going to upload them all on a little mini SD card, but your note will be in space. Digital to the moon. All so right. Smart. I we got some future astronauts there too that you I met, know. huh? I love little that Levi. place. It's really cool to see. I could have stood there all day. It was just incredible to watch. Yeah, I yeah. mean, really cutting edge here in Pittsburgh, and we yeah. get to witness that happen. Mm -hmm.